morning everyone, I'm Abigail and in today's vlog, as you can see in the title, it's gonna be Chinese New Year soon in about a week's time and so I want to dedicate this vlog to Chinese New Year to show you guys the culture, traditions that we do in Hong Kong and that includes food, decors, things we should or shouldn't do before, during and after Chinese New Year. So I'm gonna bring you guys along to show you guys um, everything that we do the different very traditional things and also I'm gonna bring you along a content creation journey that is part of my daily life. So without further ado, let's change. Ta-da! So this is the Qi Pao Chinese traditional form-fitting dress and it's really pretty because there's a lot of floral oriental detailing here and this is actually Similar to a cherry blossom, but it's called a plum blossom and to be honest everything trying to signify wealth and luck And I'm also gonna wear this on New Year's Day, which you're gonna see It's also one thing where I'm trying to like figure out a hair hairstyle But I don't plan on going to a salon or anything So I guess I'll just DIY things and like try to put my hair up somewhere into a bun We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Let's go! taking some photos. It was kind of hard to take because it's so smoky in there, but we tried our best to do it. Look at all the different decors here. So we're gonna go to an area that have even more decors. And right now, well, it's a bird at the screen. I'm at my grandma's house, and as you can see, there's so many pretty flowers here because she's a very traditional Chinese woman. So I'll show you guys all around, not all around her house, but showing you the different decorations, ornaments, and some of the things that I didn't even realize were traditional, but I figured it out because I'm filming this vlog. So I'm gonna bring you guys and show you guys the meaning behind it and um, all the different things that we do in this household. So as you can see here, this is called a chun hub and what this means is basically togetherness because you put a lot of different delicacies together and um, many people would do it different ways but um, my grandma likes putting gold <laughs> this is kind of modern but and also some traditional food like coconut slices I don't know what this is, it's very sugary there's some seeds, usually black and red seeds and then she have chocolate coins to signify wealth everything is to signify wealth and good luck and for my family, you'll see we just put what we want into this huge golden apple So 
So some of the Chinese traditions that we do on Chinese New Year is we can't wash your hair today because it means like we're washing out our bad luck. So that's why usually before Chinese New Year, um, clean our house and wash your hair and get your hair cut to prepare for Chinese New Year, which is today. So there's a lot of these kind of Chinese traditions and um, rules, but I don't know if everyone follows them, my family does. take some night photos of the pretty lanterns in Wan Chai. That's why I'm going out now. It's like 8 p.m. right now. I really want to get the shot so that's why I'm wearing all these fluffy jackets because I know that it's gonna be super cold. Have you ever seen Wan Chai this empty before? Guys, I arrived Wan Chai. This is a street called Lei Dong Gai. There's a lot of luxury shops and just shops in general and bakeries. And they have a lot of lanterns light here. Look at that. So pretty. There's so many lanterns here. 